The coolest part about my job is helping thousands of people plan their day. I grew up on a lovely dairy farm in eastern Ontario, in communauté francophone. J'ai fait tous mes études en français. When I finished high school, I was quite certain that I wanted to be a dairy farmer and uh, shared that with my father. He was ecstatic. My mother was happy for me, but she really thought that someday I might wake up and decide that I didn't want to milk cows for the rest of my life. So she suggested that I study something that perhaps someday would help me um, be a better farmer or I have something to fall back on. And so I thought if I could forecast the weather, I could be a perfect farmer because they have to know when to cut the hay or when to take in the crops. And so I thought meteorology would be the ideal uh, field to get into. My day gets off to a pretty early start. Unlike a lot of people who have to get to work before their day starts, the first thing I do is my ever important window check. Now, when I do make my way to work in the morning, I come in around 10.30 to prepare the maps and to get the weather ready for the first on-air broadcast. So I turn on my three computers, I have a look at and what we can expect for the next couple of days. So I start to put the physics of the atmosphere into play to prepare the forecast. So I get my makeup on, I get dressed up, and I present the weather to the people at home. I do enjoy coming to work and using the computers and having a look at all the different information that's available out there through the different sources. For example, we have fabulous radar technology and it's evolved over the years since I came into the business. It really is exciting. When I started uh, in the field of meteorology, there were not that many avenues. Our National Meteorological Service, Environment Canada, hired meteorologists and then there's always broadcast meteorology to work in television or in radio. But since then, the world of meteorology certainly has opened up. There's events meteorology and uh, people are hired to help plan around an outdoor event like a car race or horse racing and how they shoe the horses will depend on the kind of weather that's moving in or moving out and uh, this event's meteorology has even gone to the next level where rock bands and, and country bands like Mick Jagger and Garth Brooks travel with their very own meteorologists so imagine how exciting that would be. Well, my job is fascinating but not always easy. Sometimes the way weather systems travel and especially here along the eastern seaboard there are so many influences that the weather can change and shift just by a few kilometers and that will change a snowstorm to a rainstorm. I think the most surprising part about uh, becoming a meteorologist is just how I didn't expect to be in the public eye quite so much. I thought that I would get my degree in meteorology and then work with Environment Canada behind the scenes with a team of meteorologists and I did that and that was a lot of fun. But then to come out into broadcast meteorology and to be the one who said it was going to snow and if it doesn't, the fingers point to you. You know, if you really have a strong power of conviction, if you're not afraid to make mistakes and you're strong-willed, meteorology really is the job for you. Find something you are passionate about and something that you love to do. And even if it's something you love to do right now, if you love to bake cookies, well, maybe you'll be a great chef. Build on that. There is nothing more enjoyable than waking up in the morning, even on a Monday morning, and being excited about going to a job that you love.